The whole place was in a state of panic. Abby blew out a confused and frosty breath of her own, pulled her parka tight, and with a curl of her lip, moved toward the mess. She guessed most of the action was headed toward the river. Ropes were attached to heavy equipment. Cranes stretched their strong iron necks over and down to the problem area, and from her view, it appeared as though they were removing large-bodied things. Did a whole part of the county fall in a river, or what? Abby tried to ignore the intense spasm threatening to shut off her airway. Those are cows. Philip's answer was like a paddle filled with electric shock, attempting to jolt her senses to some form of normal. Cows? She turned to him, her eyes wide with confusion and fright. Yes, cows, he said, a half-smile cocked victoriously on his face. He reached for her hand and dragged her through the mob of people to a place where she could get a better view. Cows? Abby's tongue felt thick. They are all bloated and so still. Are they dead? Yep. Drowned, pregnant cows, Philip said, shifting his weight to the opposite leg. And lots of them. They are pregnant? Abby's legs suddenly felt rubbery. But why? What could possibly possess a herd of heavy, pregnant cows to rush to their deaths? in a river covered with thin ice. I'm not sure at this moment, but be very sure I will find out. Oh, I know, Philip. You will figure it out. I know you will. Hey, girl, you are going to get the story before the big papers pick up on it. He smiled back at her. I'm sure that stack of bloated heifers would be a perfect snapshot to validate the facts. It's bound to hit the front page for you. Abby's eyes were like bulbs pushing from their orbits. She walked through the piles of bovine devastation. Unbelievable! She began snapping pictures and trying to control the retching feeling that was pulling at her gut. Equipment operators were pulling out fewer beef now and many of the waders were stepping out of the river straddled with ice chunks. Abby snapped a picture of a rescuer stepping out of his wetsuit as someone wrapped a warm blanket around the man. Abby recognized Jasper Schaefer waving his arms and shouting to a group of uniformed officers. She moved in for a scoop on the event. I'm telling you, the distraught Jasper bawled out. I saw him out in the fields just the other day, naked and streaking as usual. Then about two this morning, the dogs were barking and I got up. That's when I saw with my own eyes. There was nothing I could do to stop the cattle. They were mad, crazy running and plunging through the ice. That's when I called for help. I drove down my driveway to see what might have caused such a ruckus. Then I saw him again. There he was, lifting up his hands and dancing. There was some older man standing next to him. I couldn't tell in the dark who it was. But the kid was definitely Charlie. It was him, all right. Charlie, Abby gasped. He wouldn't have any reason to harm your cows. He's just simple. All heads turned toward her. You sticking up for him? Jasper's voice threatened. Hi. Hey. He continued, taking a step toward her and pointing an accusing finger into her chest. Aren't you related to that kid? 